Okay. Um, got a little bit further. I figured before I put all this together, I'd make a quick video. But there's my grate. Now, there's that. Now I'm going to make a quick up look on those. I got holes here also. So I put this here just to protect that. This grate, instead of making a shaker from the bottom, I'm thinking, why not from the top? Just a thought. I don't know. That's what I'm going to try and do. But those are all 3 8 pipes. I bent them. And they go down there, and there's a flange there. That's, that's a flange. And this is upside down. This is going to come down with that. Let's go over there and look at that. There's a cover that I made. Of course, i got to get a gasket. That's why I can't put it together tonight. I gotta get a gasket for that flange and this flange, and it's fireproof flanges. I mean gaskets. But yeah, there it is. It's a lot of welding. Maybe too much. I'm not an expert welder, that's for sure. Um so that's gonna go whoop and go right there. The bottom of the burner is gonna be about right here. And then here is where I'm gonna cone it down. Cone, which means that thing. So this part will be about right there. So anyway, I figured, you know, ashes fall and they'll concentrate right there. Pretty simple. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm back to this cooling thing. I feel like what's gonna happen is when I put that thing right there, there's my intake, oh, Hold on. Let me lay this over. Oh! Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Well, tolerable. See? This all gets sent together. This one's going to be well as the other. And I'll put my output. Well, I don't know. It depends. I don't know where exactly, but to where there's a two inch coming out of that pot so what's going to happen is you got your you know wood chips or whatever coming down this is my oxygen it's going to light it up about right here my heat my hot smoke is going to come through here it's going to travel up in fact Yes, it'll travel up and heat these up where the air on the inside is getting hot. So your oxygen is already hot before it gets to the burner to where it's fueling hot air instead of cool air. I guess that's one of the tricks. Huh? That's an obvious trick. Good grief. Anyway, um, but in the same token, the smoke is getting cooled down as it travels up and it comes out into your cyclone. So, I got a heat exchanger going right there as we speak. How cool is that? You know, I guess that's obvious, logical, whatever, but it dawned on me the other day that, that was, that's, that's what's going to happen, so I figured I'd point that out. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. Anyway, <laughs> good grief. But that's how I did mine. And again, I went...
It's taking me a little longer than I expected. I took a little extra, um, what are you saying? Options? Options. That's what America is all about. Options. I'll be able to take it out if I need to. Good idea, right? Why not? I think Gek has it to where they come apart also. But also, I'll be able to take that cover off so that, you know, again, I don't know. I got the best of all worlds right there, you know. I'll be able to take those off because they're threaded in. It's threaded down here and here. And when I loosen this thread, I'll be able to clean those. So, again, I don't know if it's necessary, but the option is definitely there. But that is 16 3 8 pipes. I thought that turned out pretty good. Oh, yeah, how I bent that. There's another video again that shows this, but I did mine a little simpler. Put that dude on the vise. Oh, sorry for the wiggling. I was tightening up the vise. Put that dude right there, and I made mine to where the pipe was sticking out about an inch right here and then bent it and if I'm not mistaken they're right which hold on, sorry mine are about three foot plus your bend and it comes up to here give or take four foot but there's 16 of them now the only reason why that turned out pretty to me that's pretty is because all these holes are on the money. I mean, I done them with the CNC, and I don't know. You can hire somebody to cut these out. I'm not gonna tell you how much I spent. Anyway, um, there it is, man. Bam, bam. Isn't that cool? But that's just a little update. I'm not quite done. I've been welding, grinding, my gosh. But it's a lot of fun. For me, it's fun. You know, for some people, grinding and welding is work. For me, it's a blast. Creating something, you know? But anyway, there it is. One more shot. And that's it for now.